Now in our daily lives, every single person uses an electronic device, and slowly by slowly, we're connected to it. The device we use gives us an access to almost any social network we want by just touching it. We can buy daily necessities by just clicking a simple button on our screen, or just simply text your friends casually from far, far away. And Metaverse makes these network function on another level. You get to see your friends in another universe. So, what is Metaverse? Metaverse is a concept of a 3D virtual reality world which focuses on social connections like work, meetings, and games. However, it isn't fully developed yet. Platforms like Roblox, Sandbox, and Epic Games are famous examples for containing Metaverse-like elements. These video games currently provide the closest Metaverse-like experiences. Developers have pushed the boundaries of what a Metaverse game is like through hosting in-game events such as Fortnite concerts and creating virtual economies, making cryptocurrencies the perfect fit for Metaverse. Where did the word Metaverse came from? The origin of the word meta came from ancient Greek meaning next or beyond, and the word verse is short form for the word universe. What's the origin of Metaverse? The concept of Metaverse was developed in the sci-fi novel called Snow Crash by Neil Stephenson, which was thought out in 1992. Even though the idea of Metaverse was once fictional, as technology now enhances, the concept of Metaverse is no longer a dream. On October 28, 2021, Mark Zuckerberg happily announced that the company Facebook decided to change its name to Meta Platform Incorporation, or Meta for short. The company responded due to the netizens under fire for spreading misleading information. They said that their change was part of its bet on a next digital frontier, which is Metaverse. So how can you get into the Metaverse? Facebook, aka the company Meta, suggests purchasing one of their Oculus Quest a virtual reality setup. However, if you don't have a VR setup, don't panic! You can still enter the Metaverse via your portable devices like mobile phone, laptops, or tablets. Although Metaverse has been around for a while, it's only now getting popular as technology rises. More and more people are interested in getting involved in the virtual world instead of real world since, after all, no one will know who they are in real life. Another reason for this is because we are currently in a pandemic and everyone is stuck at home and can't go out. However, Metaverse allows people to go out in the virtual world and meet new people. Even though the Metaverse is not real life, it's as dangerous as real life. Some of the dangers are Violation of privacy, where hackers may hack your device and get your private information. Circulation of misinformation and conspiracy theories where people spread false data or knowledge on the internet. Also, cryptocurrency scams where people scam you for money online. Lastly, harassment where people get sexually harassed or verbally harassed through virtual reality. Here is a video of someone getting harassed on the metaverse. Please get the hell away from me now. Dude, back off. Gartner, a technological research company, recently named the metaverse one of the top five emerging trends in technologies for 2022 and expects the amount of metaverse users to rise from 0.6 million in 2020 to 1.73 million in 2024.